This week, we pour our colored resin murals for the pantry barn doors. The new smoker gets its final clear coat, and Garen and Ellie get the parts for their tractor rebuild in the mail. We got our new parts. This is the clutch for the system. And there's all the other little stuff that's gonna go inside this casing here. There's really not that many parts. Yeah, so I think it's time to start putting this baby back together. One of the things that really helped us out in doing this is we bought the service manual for it. I don't have a lot of knowledge in tractors. Neither one of us do as far as transmissions go. So buying that book really allowed us to take it apart and put it back together in the correct way. I don't know that we would have been able to do it without it. It was a very good investment into this project. Yeah, I don't know about you, but it was kind of daunting to think about turning into a tractor. Like cars are just, I don't know, they seem... Yeah, and like a transmission on top of that. Yeah. So, it was a little bit more daunting for sure. It was really fun though. Yeah. We bought this tractor for 2,000 bucks in its broken state. A little over 1,000 bucks in parts and then the $100 book. So it came out to about $3,200 total to get this thing up and running, which is really, really cool. We're very, oh. very pumped on that, so. Yeah, so it's a great deal for a tractor and something so useful that we can use and stuff. It's gonna be really nice to have. And it seems like tractors are cheap if they're broken, but they're expensive if they're not. You can yeah. figure it out and spend the time into it. The parts are pricey, but. Yeah, they're a lot more expensive than like vehicle parts. But you can still definitely come mm -hmm. out ahead and that's really cool. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> in here just in case we got the heat gun moving and then what I'm gonna do I brought in my Posca pin I'm gonna do a couple things with this Posca I really want there to be a highlight on the eye is the heat gun supposed to be on oh my god that seems funny maybe he didn't realize it was on he couldn't hear it or something <gasps> oh my god no. it's there on. that's not supposed to be on is it Gary the, the heat gun no we're sitting there on. There on. <laughs> oh, why is it the noise? I guess yeah, you I couldn't hear because of the vacuum. That's funny. It's a dot. But with our scuffles and stuff, we've gotten just some stuff on. So I'm going to go through with some cleaner here and just try to clean up the white. And I might go and touch up some places that I see with the Posca too. Hopefully it's the same shade of white. Just the stuff that's inside your head. Oh yeah, that fixes it. Does the resin harden fast? It's supposed to. Okay. But even if it doesn't, it's all in separate areas, right? Pretty soon you got to stop tinkering and start doing it. I agree. Right down here. You missed it. You're coming down this way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Come on. He doesn't do down. He does up. At this point, we're just gonna bolt this down just because it's four easy bolts. Oh, well that was easy. And then I'm gonna put the steering wheel and all that back together and on so that we can test it, see if it works before we go full out and get the whole linkage to the back set up. Sounds like you're kind of tired. Oh no, didn't need to break sweat. Everything ready to go? I think so. Probably have to start it up and run it a little bit and then top it off again. If it even runs. It's gonna run. It may run, it just might not go. All right, Azealia, so. cross all your fingers and your toes. I got power. I think we might have got it. We just gotta get our steering figured out. Nice, babe. Looking good. I've got this fear because we've done all this on all crazy sides that we've accidentally maybe drew out our hummingbird upside down. <laughs> That's gonna be fine. Dad has been discreetly trying to lay the path for me so that I'm as successful as I can be with this stuff. Getting in there, things are straight, touching up. He thinks I don't notice, but I do. <laughs> Shh, 
we've got some a level and some sticks to make sure that our surface is nice and flat. Take a quick little check. Pretty close. Yeah, yeah the depth is so shallow that even being slightly off could be disaster. Hey, no, no, give me that back. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's Luna. It's my dog, cause she's awesome. She's the boss. She's the youngest dog we have. The youngest is always the boss. Yeah. So my mom always said. Dad with his eagle eye. Yeah, he caught it. These will be purple. And that will be this one. Okay. We're gonna pour enough color so we can do both pieces. You're gonna do all those um, same colors over well, here? Yeah, we wanna do the beak, an orange, or a yellow. No, well, these can be different colors now. I was kind of hoping you would help us out, Mom, on what oh. you want. What colors you would know, you like? If this was orange, yeah. it would contrast with the blue better, I think, than the yellow with the blue. Okay, we'll do that. We can make it psychedelic. We can yeah, do I think we should want. do it like the uh, goats that you did and like the cow. Okay, yeah. I think it'd be really cool to have like a lavender belly and maybe a teal under the chin. Well, we could do get the wings here, yellow. Yeah. And then whatever we do, the wings, we probably should do the same. Not the yeah. edge. You got it all. You got it all, dude. You got it. You took care of it. I tore that whole thing up. Okay, guys, I need another one. I've been working on my house here and there adding colorful furniture, but one place I hadn't worked in was the garage. And there's a shed building inside my garage that was painted this nasty black. It had like green spots on it, and I wanted it to be a really cheery color. A buddy of mine came over, and we covered over that ugly black with a white primer, and then we got our beautiful red color in there. It's so cheery in my garage. I can't wait to work on projects in such a happy space. So dad has done out a couple of cups here for me so that I can do equal amounts of both. Now comes the mixy fixy. Mixy I would suggest go into the glob because a glob's hard to pour. Nailed it. Yay. This is the hardener. I think you may not have had enough of it last time. Do you think dad liked that much? Yeah. So let's see what that does. I think I want this to be pretty dark. What's the color of your shirt? It's gonna lighten up. Yeah, it is the color mm -hmm. of your shirt. They lighten up just a tad, so. Yeah, I feel like another stick full. This is like the dark part of the thing, you know, so. Okay. And how long do you stir that? Until it's mixed in. They didn't give me an exact time. So we've gotta be ready with our toothpicks. I will just do barely anything, and then we'll coax the color around. And if we need more, we can add more, but if we add too much, we can't go less. And which one are you doing first? I was just gonna do the belly here. Belly? Okay, do belly. Work from the in out? Yeah. We'll need more, huh, Dad? Yeah. But like that, huh? That's really nice. Wow, that just leveled it right there. And there's still okay, a few couple of those spots. There. Yeah. They're just coming up on popping. We might just want to sit and hit with the heat until the bubbles are gone. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Bam, gets rid of them just like that. We have still more lavender to do. Oh, the little birdie is just coming alive. <laughs> it's just a drop. Of <laughs> just, a drop. <laughs> just a drop that would work. See, it. that's the charm of my little homestead art. It's happy accidents. <laughs> That Bob way. Ross. Yeah. Happy little accident. Bob Ross has influenced our society so much, hasn't he? Yes. Even he's not here anymore, but yet his positive attitude, he lives on. Oh! Moving on to the next one, huh? I'm hoping we'll have just enough. I try to do this slowly, but then that just go crazy gene that I have hits me and I'm like, I could do this faster. You gotta just take it easy. This is an exercise in patience. This is the innard of the flower, the little. It, there's a, it starts with a P inside of the flower, Gary. Here. Pistol? Is it the pistol? I don't know, I like that. I think you're right. I think those colors are gonna look really cool together. Yeah. Then do the flower first, just to make sure we have enough. I don't think we do. Oh no, what did he do? Oh. <laughs> okay, that's fine. The light shining off the white, it's just burned your eyeballs. Oh, it's dark. All right, Dad, let's get armed. I'm ready, you start armed? pouring. We 
got a lot to do now. What to do? Ooh, how epic is that? Wow. It's kind of fun, huh? It's exciting. I'm gonna run this one too. It looks so much like glass. It looks like someone took strawberries and spilt it all over this. Yeah, you should be in here with your good hands. We need the guy with the steady Eddie hands. I don't think I... The surgeon-like hands. <laughs> I don't have that kind of hand. How... Says Ooh. the guy that takes tedious electrical things apart and back together with soldering and everything else. <laughs> She's kind of got a point, Brad. What's the next color, Brie? I think we just did teal. Maybe some papaya next. Trying to fix a couple boo boos we did. I think we overfilled in some cases. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to leach up just a little bit on this. And then right, in some cases, like the wood isn't perfectly flat because it's wood, it's an organic thing. But we're finding that even though we poured enough for everything to be even, it's overflowing because it's moving a little bit. It we kind are. of gives this little shadow feel though. Yeah, like, I, if you I look like at this. It. It's kind of a gradient on its own. A really kind of cool fun. character. Right? And this one, you can actually inside. see the grain of the yeah. wood coming through. I had resin on my fingers and I went up and touched my nose. I got it in like in my nose. Uh oh. It's like everywhere. Uh -oh. So how many times do you touch your face while doing epoxy? Last color, Humphrey. Last color. So pretty. I think it is. It really is. I was trying to take a picture of it, but hard to get how vibrant this resin actually is. It's amazing. Yeah, and it has sparkles in it. You can really see in the blue how the sparkles, it has kind of a gold sparkle. So when the light hits it in that room, it's gonna really be bedazzled. It will. Pretty cool. Oh, kind of elegant almost. We had a lot of people coming together to help us out with this, including a lot of the comment section. Yeah, and then our really good friend and neighbor came over and did a ton of the little grueling work with Darren. And He's a really good mechanic and he helped out a lot. Put this thing back together for sure. Really appreciate his yeah. help, yeah. <laughs> Around this guy, we can get a chain through there, and around this guy here, and hold up. Whoa. Bryce and Dad came over to help put that bucket on, just to have the extra hands there, because taking it off was pretty sketchy. So, it's so heavy. We used some of your suggestions, and it went so smoothly, so slick. Garen needs some help putting the bucket or the arm bucket that holds the bucket, but the arm on the tractor. Yeah, what do they call it? The Armature? Armature? I think it's scoop. The, brace I think it's scooper. The front scoop. Bracket stuff it. It picks it up. Thingy with. that moves. Yeah. The neighbor from across the street came over. What was the first words he said when he walked over? He was like, um, oh, you guys got it on there yet? And yeah. we're like, no. And he's like, oh, I came too early. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> and no really one well. got hurt. That's the main thing. Hey, you got them all in, right? How does it make you feel? Accomplished. We got it. Can you give it a test drive? Yeah. runs and drives perfectly. It's just a really, really good machine. So we're very, very excited about it. Oh my Definitely longer than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know what you had in mind, but I was like, yeah, no problem. Let's just, you know, pour it all pour in. Pour it in there to all level out. Not a problem. But we found we had to keep mixing batches of the same color several times. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, it's just a little bit, you know, but it took more than what we were thinking. We're literally doing touch up. Touching up. These guys have to get it 
even better. Go the extra mile. A little extra mile will be happier. Yeah. I can fix that with a heat gun. Scoop some hit, and put it there. Can you hit it with some heat then first? I think our epoxy was not epoxy. Oh, no, Bryce and I had a thought too is that it may not be big enough quantity in one space to heat up enough. It's like I'm melting my finger off the of heat gun. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good way to do it, Bry. Uh oh. I hope you this can fix that. This purple's pretty light. Yes, can I can. Can you fix it? Ready? Let's watch it. No. I've seen people do thin and have no issues, so I don't know what they were doing that we weren't. You don't want to fix that one? Let me heat it up a little bit. All right, I'll do it. Ready? And we were finding yes. when we were taking the gun and making it super hot, they were hardening. Yes. So I think we're going to be okay when we get the other stuff. I agree. It was a way bigger job than we were thinking now. That is for certain. We all pulled together and did it as a fan, which was fabulous. I can't imagine having to do this solo. That would have been yes. <laughs> I'm super happy with it. I'm, I'm you. very happy. I'm ready for tomorrow to get it thicker. Those so. colors were awesome. They did. I just, I'm so pleased with the way the colors turned out. Totally vibrant. You know, I don't think you can come up with paints that vibrant. Mm -mm. That was beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah. Definitely worth it. I am super tickled. I can hardly wait to get these in my kitchen. Uh, hey guys. Hey. You want to hey. see our project? Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Oh, That's amazing. Yeah. It's been an all day event. It went well, I think. Yeah, don't you guys think? Absolutely. It looks yeah. awesome. It's perfect Poxy. time to put your handprints and draw your name underneath them then. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grow a flower here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your phone yeah. probably yeah. sticked and you couldn't flower. get it off. Uh oh. <laughs> that'll be it for this week and next week we'll work on getting that clear resin and finishing them up at least finishing up the resin so that we can get them in for stain mm -hmm. yep mount the brackets and ready to go yep almost there <laughs> I am so excited to announce that we have free to print coloring pages over on our website to download. We have 49 fun designs that we've taken from our t-shirt shop, made them into coloring pages, and put the download links over on our website. Bryce is gonna take you through the steps really quick on how to get to those coloring pages on our website. All right, so we wanna go to mylittlehomestead.com, and then once you're there at the homepage, you wanna click on free section in the navigation, and then once you're there at the very top, you'll see the coloring pages link. You can click on that guy, and then that guy will bring you to a page where you can just scroll down and download all the different coloring pages. We'll download as a PDF so it'll be easy to print. And then also at the very top we have some share links. We really hope that you enjoyed those coloring pages and please if you do one and if you feel comfortable that is please share it with us. We'd love to see your work. You can share it with us on any of our social links down in the description as well. Oh my gosh, you will not believe it, but it's hard. I cannot believe it hardened. I cannot believe it. <laughs> wow! Oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. The crack did take some of the, that, you know, that's okay. So it goes, so there's a little bug that got in there. Oh, oh no, oh no. How did a bug get in there? Smell it hardened, it hardened. <gasps> work with resin before and it hardens real quick. Everything was still soup when we walked away last night. Oh, I'm pleased. I'm so pleased with that. Our clear coat paint came in, so I'm gonna give the silver part of the grill a quick coat and see how it turns out. It's kinda hard to tell where you're at. Well, that works super good, I think. Hard to tell if it's coated or not, but it still looks the same, which is awesome. We decided to smoke some chicken, kind of the first thing to christen our brand new smoker. See how it goes, see how it works, and also to just have some fun smoking some chicken. Chicken smokes at a higher temperature than other meats, from my understanding. It typically smokes at a higher temperature, so we'll be able to see too if we get any color change with the top barrel. It smells pretty good already. Oh, it does. All right. Ooh, smoking good. Yeah, probably right here, but that's pretty close to the thing. <laughs> what are you laughing at, kiddo? Oh, Diesel's excited too. He says, mmm. I'll take me some of that. <laughs> I'm not actually going to turn around. Part of 
of the reason why we wanted to build a smoker is because it's a really fun, relaxing thing to do on the weekends when you want to take a day off and just spend time together. It kind of forces you to relax a little bit because you got to keep an eye on it and you can't get sidetracked and start working on every other thing that you see that needs done, which is sometimes hard for us to do. Yeah. You're cheating. <laughs> It takes a lot of time too to smoke, so it's like a, it just takes a good block out of the day where you just gotta sit there and manage your smoker, play some games, just enjoy the outdoors. Yeah, and this is fun. It's a fun way to cook. It always tastes so good too. Hey. Really tender and oh, it had a really good flavor too. Turned out way better than I was expecting it to. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it was really good. <laughs> Yeah, the smoker worked really super well. Temperatures were relatively easy to manage. Very happy with it and gonna be using it a lot in yeah. the future. <laughs> Definitely. Can't wait to get our pool going. Cause then we'll just like jump in the Smoke, pool. Smoke, pool. It's gonna be a good summer. It's gonna Isn't be a good it summer. Isn't it Ophelia? You excited? Well, that wraps up this week. The t-shirt design of the week is Family Country and My Tractor. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, muscle shirt. There's please, muscle shirts? There is. All kinds of fun stuff that we have over in our shop. You can check out the link down in the description. For the coloring pages, you can either navigate over on our website like Bryson walked you through, or we'll leave a direct link to those coloring page downloads down in the description as well. Make it easier for you. We really appreciate you being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for the podcast. Bye! Thank you! Uh-oh, Dad, I hope I didn't screw this up now. Oh. Beep, 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 beep. Putting too little in is not bad. Putting... Thank you, Francie. I love my new glasses. <laughs> <laughs> our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Action. We, uh, smoking. I don't know how to start it. <laughs> <laughs>